So we're going to be checking out Young Jeezy confronting his ex-wife for disturbing clips amidst divorce deal. Let's get to it. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white man. That's what I like. Hold up. What do you mean, dark? She said that after the divorce. Was that a shot at Young Jeezy? But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white man. That's okay. what I like. Those words seem to have opened her up to a world of unpleasant surprises, starting with her marriage. The streets are saying that Jeannie was the one to mess up. She was the one to mess up. Yeezy was furious about it and he filed. And to say it came as a shock to her would be an understatement. But Jeezy, how did it happen though? Like, yes. you wanted it to be a total surprise. Right. I'm not just, you know, the real call of the real. But it turns out Jeezy might not be the saint we've all thought him to be. Don't worry about nothing. So, but what happened was they had sent a letter of direction to the label and diverting money from the company was going directly to him. While most divorces mm -hmm. usually don't have public tells that they're coming, with celebrities, it's mostly the opposite, which makes sense since a large part of their lives is constantly in the media. However, Jeezy and Jeannie Mia's case is one of those disasters that no one could have seen coming because of how airtight their relationship seemed from outside. But it turns out we were wrong. Not only does it seem like the pair had already been going from one conflict to the other behind closed doors, but it also seems like their pairing ways might come with a bit of drama. Well, considering Jeezy has had a pretty colorful past with relationships, that part might not be entirely surprising. Nonetheless, it seems we might have all been wrong in thinking this was going to be a fairy tale for the now estranged couple. The news about them splitting has come with several questions from fans, so let's dive in to answer. Shall we? It leaked to page six. It leaked to a bunch of outlets, not just blogs, but actual media outlets. It has been everywhere. Only a couple of hours ago, everyone in the world thought Jeezy had it all. From creating hit records featuring some of the greatest artistes, including Kanye and Rihanna, to being credited for nine studio albums, all the way to marrying the beautiful Jeannie Mia, you take one look at the man and you'd have to agree he won in life. However, mm -hmm. his story seems to have taken an abrupt turn, as recent reports have indeed just confirmed that there's more than a little trouble in their romantic paradise. The rapper, born J. Wayne Jenkins, filed for divorce from the real host on Thursday in Atlanta, Georgia, according to documents obtained by outlets. The couple were married for two and a half years and had a prenuptial agreement in place. Oh, that wasn't a long time, just two and a half years. And they had a baby girl, I think. Atlanta, Georgia, according to documents obtained by outlets. The couple were married for two and a half years and had a prenuptial agreement in place. Jeezy's filing says the former couple are currently living in a bona fide state of separation and that their marriage is irretrievably broken with no hope for reconciliation. The document also says that the rapper wants to share joint legal custody of the pair's daughter, one-year-old, daughter Monaco. The news about the pair seemingly came as a shock to the entire world, as it became all people on the internet could talk about. One person wrote, Wow, I just finished reading the thread about Hugh Jackman's divorce, and now this. I haven't followed her too much recently, but I watched her whole story on the reel. I was expecting another baby announcement instead of a divorce. Right. How sad, another person added. What is happening today? I'm shocked. She's such a cool person, and I just adore her. Hope she's well. Besides the fact that Jenkins and Jeezy See, everybody's leaning towards a lady. Nobody's asking if young Jeezy is well. Hope young Jeezy is well. I'm concerned about Jeezy too. He only tied the knot in March 2021 at their home in Atlanta and welcomed daughter Monaco in January 2022. What makes people so confused about the news is that only a few months back, they were literally celebrating their union. Per the news, the pair celebrated their second anniversary in March with a surprise trip to Vietnam that Jenkins organized for her husband as a long-awaited adventure. I have to tell you that getting to know Jay, you guys know him as Jeezy's Jay to me, getting to know him has been one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. When Jeezy and I met, we bonded over the similarities and differences of our cultures. She told news outlets at the time. Now that we have a daughter blending our worlds, it gives even more meaning to explore Vietnam together as a multicultural family. 
Jeezy had initially planned to pop the question in Hoi An, Vietnam in April 2020, but was forced to change his plans after COVID canceled the trip. When Jeezy proposed to me, he decorated his condo to look like Hoi An. It brought the memories of our engagement full circle when we were finally in Hoi An for the first time. Jenkins said of their anniversary vacation. Even fans admitted that Jeannie must have had no idea the divorce papers were coming since she had remained publicly committed to their union. One person wrote, but she had a post about his book congratulating him on September 6th, and she's still wearing her rings in her recent post. I truly feel she didn't know she was getting divorced. Alol. Oh. According to reports, the couple first met on the set of Jenkins's daytime talk show, The Real, and quietly started dating in November 2018. They eventually took their romance public in August 2019, after people suspected them following an Instagram post that featured both of them. As a co-host on The Real, Mai never shied away from opening up about her life. So when the rumor mill started churning about her and the rapper, she addressed the question directly. You guys know that I'm multi-dating, right? Mai Jenkins shared with her co-hosts on the show. Jeezy and I hang out, she continued. He's very special to me, so we don't really have a label to define what it is we're doing. We're just having a good time together. However, she wasn't able to keep a lid mm -hmm. on it much longer. God somehow know. managed our timing so that we spent time after our long-term relationships. Yeah. We both came from 10-year relationships, and we really worked on ourselves to really understand what healthy love is like. We both went through enough in our life to connect on the understanding that love should feel safe, honest, and pure, Jenkins told the news. Immediately, that was a magnetic attraction. We are very attracted to each other's passions to serve. So because we have a mutual joy of having a purpose, we're going to find a way to do that together. From that point on, things were going so well for them that controversies started to form around them, as was the case when- You see the problem with media advertisements of love, yeah? You know, all your influencers will tell you all these nice things and how they fall in love. And then once you follow the, their path, you end up in the same just saying, man. Yeah, you gotta be careful the people you listen to. Because these days, people make love and marriage seem like it's all, you know, it's all nice. There's no stress. You're not gonna argue with your man. There's not gonna be any tribulation. It's just gonna be a smooth sail. But then that's not always the case. You're gonna fight. You're gonna go through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you thrive after that, yeah, then that's when you're in love when Jeannie revealed she wanted to be more submissive to her man. On The Real, the star said, I want to submit to my man. When I hear this definition, submitting has a negative connotation. It means that you are less important, you are lower than the person that you're submitting to. It usually can be like, you know, referenced as somebody who works lower than you, and that's not what I'm referring to here, Mai explained to her co-hosts. She continued, I'm a very dominant woman. I own my business. I lead my teams. I played my own manager, my own publicist, my own lawyer when I didn't have money to have those people. So I make the decisions in my life, my finished. When I come home, I like the idea that my man leads us. So far, the news about their split has drawn varying reactions, which for some is predominantly sadness. Yeah, Others seem to believe sad. she had this coming from the beginning. One Redditor in this mm -hmm. category wrote, she always seemed really tone deaf to me on the reel. And isn't her ex a trumper? How do you go from that to Jeezy lol? He probably clocked how she really is. There have been several rumors about what really happened between them in the media, with some saying the split might have been a result of something negative that was said to Jeezy by Jeannie, but it seems this might have been more Jeezy's fault than hers. You remember when I said the rapper had a colorful past with relationships? I meant his last relationship also ended up on pretty unusual terms. Before his engagement to Jeannie Mai, most people probably can't remember a time when Jeezy was so public with his love life. The rapper has been linked to several women throughout his career, but his most notable before Mai was with R&B singer Keisha Cole. The pair reportedly dated for two years from 2005 to 2007. They kept the details of their relationship under wraps throughout their time together. It was later revealed that it was Jeezy's choice to keep things private. While that part was a little shady, most of the other aspects of their time together seemed like they were blissful, as they even collaborated on a song together. However, the story took an unexpected turn somewhere down the line. According to reports, both Jeezy and Cole claimed the other pushed wanting to get married, which contributed to their split. Jeezy told Vibe magazine in 2008, Keisha asked me to marry her, bought me a ring and everything. She not gonna tell you different, he said. I was grown enough to tell her, look baby, that isn't what it is right now. I'm trying to get my esh together. 
I'm trying to get my money. Take care of me and mine. Cole, on the other hand, said it was actually Jeezy who proposed. After mm -hmm. this guy proposed to me, I was like, dang, this is everything a woman lives for. To be married with a ring, to be able to represent something, she told Essence magazine. But for me, it was the opposite. I was scared. I'm just not ready for that. I'm not done with my goals in life. I just couldn't submit. But I loved him. That's the crazy thing about it. I mean, then who's lying here? I mean, if they were having conflicting stories about the reason they broke up, what does that really say about their relationship? Apart from the fact that his past relationship ended in literal lies that no one may actually ever uncover, his business side seems to be just as bad, as there have been countless reports about just how cutthroat he can be in his dealings. For starters, there is the fact that he was constantly caught up in conflict with people in his record who started out being his friends, with reports of him even siphoning money that was meant for the label into his personal account. Not just that, he was also caught up in more than a few lawsuits. In fact, only a couple of years back... Every celebrity is caught up in a lawsuit one point or the other. All these points are just something reflective of everybody in the limelight. One of his former business partners filed a suit to the tune of millions of dollars against the rapper. Per the reports, Jeezy's one-time business partner Demetrius Ellerby sued the rapper and Def Jam recordings for unpaid shared profits and royalties and advances. Ellerby attested that since he helped Jeezy found CTE Music in 2000, the two were business partners and he should be paid half of the profits he has received. They were partners. They started the company together. They grew the company together. And he's entitled to one half, said Ellerby's lawyer. From the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the suit claims that he has seen little payments from Jeezy and that money has intentionally been misappropriated into personal accounts to keep from paying Ellerby. He was reported to have still been awaiting an accounting from Def Jam, but Jeezy's former partner estimated he was owed $5 million and most likely much more once royalties and interest are factored in. While it remained unclear if the pair actually settled up outside of court, Ellerby has been relentless in letting the world know who Jeezy really is. Recently, he was hosted by Big Bank and DJ Scream on an episode of Big Facts, and he dove into details of Jeezy doing him dirty from the beginning. The boss that we had at the time was flawed. He wanted everybody to stay up under him. And if he's seen you getting more light than him, yo got put to the back burner. That's just how it was. At a young age, while doing a bid in a juvenile boot camp, Ellerby said he met Jeezy and they instantly connected. However, the idea of creating a record label together didn't come up until later on and only after the pair made money separately from other ventures. A couple of years down the line, the pair got into business and before they knew it, they were behind projects that landed them Grammy nominations. While this led Ellerby to believe his team had arrived, it didn't last. The entrepreneur said there was a shift in how he and Jeezy handled business and their bond was subsequently affected. It was just a lot of F asterisk head up as asterisk T, he said. How we go from doing what we did on this side and we get over here, this S asterisk T ain't even real. Ellerby seemingly attributed his falling out with Jeezy to some things the rapper may have said on his latest project and allegations that Ellerby may have stolen money from him. I'm like, bro, how could I steal some money? All your money goes straight to the account and every Monday they cut me a check for my 20%, Ellerby explained. It was just a lot of bull that he would put into the mix that I didn't like. I wanted to say something, but I'm like, you know what? I don't got to do that. In the end, the business owner revealed that he had to file for bankruptcy after their simple fight turned court battle became the only news on the front page. Considering this man did his own friend like this, is it far-fetched to think there might be more to the split with Jeannie Mia than what got out? <laughs> yeah, that's just like a whole plot twist right there. Went to his business dealing scenes of incorporated with his divorce. I don't know, man. This is personal. I just don't like to hear about divorce because, you know, marriage is a beautiful thing. It kind of discourages young people from getting married when this kind of news is publicized. But the fact that his business dealings were maybe not straight, I don't know, speculatively, it doesn't mean he had anything to do with his marriage. And also, everybody's blaming. Why are you blaming Jeezy? Why is nobody looking into Jeannie Mai? You know, why is the the man always the, what is the word? Or was the woman always the victim? The man could have been the victim too. Just saying, I don't know. But anyway, share your thoughts on that one. Is the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.